Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about the drama involving China limiting the amount of playtime that people can play video games. And for some reason a lot of people seem to be very interested in this and since I live in China and I do play Chinese games and I do have to go through this entire process, I might as well talk about it. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I'm trying to hit 50,000 subs by the end of the year. So if you guys could help me hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate that. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, so what exactly is China enforcing here? It's actually really simple. If you are below the age of 18, you can only play three hours of video games every single week. And so how does this work? How do they enforce this? It's simply because every person in China has like a social security number, basically. We've got this identification card, which is government issued, and it's got a number on it. So this number is actually bound to our name, bound to our date of birth, bound to all this other mumbo jumbo, right? All of our personal information. So when we register an account, for example, this is my Chinese Genshin account, I had to input my real name, my full name, I had to enter my date of birth, I had to enter my identification number, and all this other mumbo jumbo just to prove that, hey, this is me, yes, I am above the age of 12. Keep in mind, this is the Chinese client, so if you are below the age of 12, you can't actually make an account. So you have to have an ID that is actually above the age of 12. However, there are many ways around this. For example, I have a lot of clients whose children just use their parents' ID. The reason for this is because when you're a child, you don't actually have your ID card at hand. Most parents take care of their children's passports, their children's ID cards and all that stuff. And so when a kid wants to make an account and they're like, hey mom, I want to play Genshin Impact. The mom is usually going to take the phone, input all the information and create the account. And most of the time they use their own ID and not the child's ID, mainly because they feel it's safer because if anything bad does happen, it falls on the parents and not on the child since the ID number as well as all the personal information is actually the parents and not the child. So this circumvents the entire three hour thing already because the game is going to be like, okay, so the owner of this account is above the age of 18, so they can play as much as they want. They lift that three hour limit per week. So as long as you are above the age of 18, or if you registered an account with an ID which is above the age of 18, none of these restrictions apply to you. So this is how China is trying to enforce the three hour play limit every single week. However, it doesn't really work for the majority of cases, mainly because the children are not the ones actually creating the accounts and using their IDs because they don't know their ID numbers. Come on, be real. I don't even know my ID number off the top of my head. I have to go to my wallet, pull out my identification card, read the number and type that in. Or maybe I'm just not that smart. But either way, the majority of accounts created are using parents' IDs and so it doesn't apply to the children, right? However, this does work towards adolescents or teenagers, mainly because a lot of teenagers like to go out to PC bongs. So PC bongs are basically like internet cafes where you can rent a computer for several hours and play using their computer. So a lot of people like to go here to play League of Legends as well as a lot of other competitive games, mainly because the internet cafes have better computers. You know, you've got 3060s, 3070s, 3080s, and they've got different tiers, so you know, if you want to rent out a 3080, you obviously pay more per hour. However, since the cost of living in China is a little bit lower, so it still doesn't add up to much. It's like $5 an hour for a 3080, which is still a really good deal because you've got a really nice gaming chair, you've got a really nice high refresh rate 4K monitor, and you've got all the bells and whistles and it's only $5 an hour. So a lot of students like to go there and play video games instead of going home and studying. So by limiting the play hours, these students can go to the internet cafe if they want however when you go to an internet cafe you have to show legal identification and so there's no work around here because you can't bring your parents to the internet cafe and use theirs because they're like yo the, your parents aren't the one that's using the computer you're the one that's using the computer and most of the time the students don't want their parents to know that they're going to an internet cafe to play video games anyway and so this is where it solves this issue however 
regarding the whole mobile game issue, the gacha games, you know, Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact, Girls Frontline, all of these other games, it's not going to affect them that much. It's simply because MiHoYo and other gaming companies are simply just following the instructions that the Chinese government is giving them, saying, yo, if anyone registers an account, they have to use their legal ID number. And if said person is below the age of 18, you have to limit them to three hours a week. That is the instructions that the gaming companies got in China, and so they just comply to these rules because, you know, legally bound, they, they have to do that. But at the end of the day, these companies aren't going to go cross-check and see, oh, is this person actually who they say they are? Because that's just way too much work, and to them, it's, there's no real reason to do that unless you actually do something bad. For example, like if you start leaking, then MiHoYo will go out of their way and hunt you down and screw you over. So just don't do anything bad and you're going to be fine even if you use an identification card that is not exactly yours. So this is obviously treading gray area, it's actually more like illegal area. However, I know that there are people who do this anyway, simply because they want to play video games. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel, it really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it interesting. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, so